everybody, it's Margaret and I am bringing you a haul video today. I know I should be doing some listing, but I had the chance to go out with Tanya today and I actually did go out yesterday a little bit. So I've got so much stuff, but I mean, it's, I feel like it's a broken record, a broken record. I've got so much stuff, I've got so much stuff, I gotta quit buying, but then you get out there and like, I was telling Tanya, I don't see this is a dollar I'm spending. I see like, this is $30 I'm making. So. Without any further ado, let me start into my giant haul. I just noticed something fell. One moment. And she's back. There, now we go. All right, so I'm going to start with the jewelry that I've picked up from a few different places. The first bit I picked up, this in Austin. Oh my gosh, it's all tangled. Of course it is. So I got this when we were in Austin running around, and they're not real pearls, um, but I just thought it was pretty. If I can hold it still, you can see these like pearly looking beads and little gold beads in between. And then I was talking about doing a um, video about testing my metals and things that I do. And when I, when I went, um, I had my magnet with me. So, you know, I was testing all the little bits and, oh, they were not magnetic. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll test it. But those are so tiny, I probably won't. And then I also in Austin, I picked these up, little earrings. And I think it was 25 or 50 cents each. Then yesterday... I went to one of my favorite charity shops and picked up a few things. This oops, <laughs> is a little watchmaker's tin. And I only knew this because that lot of watchmaker stuff that I bid on in that curio type of thing had one of these in there. This was 10 cents. I'm gonna lot all of those up together. I just haven't done it yet. Cause why? Cause why? I've been shopping, that's why. So <laughs> again. All right, and then I picked up these bracelets. They're just little bangles. They, one was a dollar, one was 50 cents. And I'm probably gonna tie them together and put them in my booth. Um, they're not real, but I just kinda liked them. Little, I love bangles. I don't know, I'm a sucker for them, personally. And then this is a pewter brooch. It was $2, and if you can see, it says JJ. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that for you. JJ1988, uh, and I looked this up on Etsy. I looked it up just in general, but on Etsy there was one for sale. It had the brooch and the earrings, and I think it was selling for like $90 or something crazy like that. So, yay, and that was $2. Then this looks almost like, like it's handmade or something. I, there's no marking. It was $1.50. It's a big horse it's got a brooch but then it's also got this hook thing like it's gonna go on a necklace or something but it's not closed up so I have no idea but then this also you know I brought my magnet now it doesn't necessarily mean like I said it doesn't necessarily mean that that it's something but it's it just takes me to that next level like oh maybe I should test it because it looks like that gold is just like soldered along the edge of it you know you can see not magnetic so I might test it, just, you know, maybe I'll, when I do my testing thing, I'll, but look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Look at that. Giant horse head brooch. But I figured for a buck fifty, surely I could make some money on that. It's pretty cool. This as well. This, it, it was a dollar, and it's a leaf that looks like it's been gold-plated. Again, I took my magnet to it, and, you know, not magnetic. You can see on the back, where it looks like it's been soldered on there with the gold. I can't tell though if it's rubbing off. But anyway, it, it's interesting, it's cool. No markings. Is that an aspen? What, what kind of leaf is that, do you know? I'll have to ask my dad, he'll know for sure. That was a dollar. And then this little ring I picked up for, oh gosh, my their tags are tangled. Two dollars. and. There are no markings on it either. It has little bitty, bitty red stones, so I just thought it was pretty. And then this was a little pendant that I took a chance on. But it, it, it's very sparkly, but it's obviously, it's obviously not real, but anyway. <clears throat> and then I got a pair of cufflinks. And I like these ones. They're Hickok brand, but they are like blank, so I can, you know, say they are engravable, probably. As long as it doesn't mess up the metal. But anyway, so they're just plain silvery discs. And those were a dollar as well. So, and one more. 
And <laughs> this is in a Premier jewelry bag, but I don't think it's Premier jewelry. A friend of mine sells Premier, and it doesn't really look like their style. So it's a <clears throat> wire wrapped, like skull bead. They're like flat skull beads bracelet. It's really heavy duty. It feels really well done. And then these earrings to go with them. Super cool. And that was a dollar. That was a dollar. That was cool. I got that at the Goodwill. At the Goodwill. I also got this at the Goodwill. It's a one of those belts. It looks like a belt buckle, like in the car. You know, like that. And it is... Lion King, this is Hakuna Matata, I'm, it's all tangled up now, no, yeah, Hakuna Matata, it's got all the warthogs and everybody on it, it's in really nice shape, got it for three dollars, I looked it up and for the life of me right now I can't remember what it's going for, but it was okay, I also picked up this Family Guy Christmas ornament, it's got Peter, what's his last name, I can't remember, his name is Peter, I know that. Um, Peter is naked, and he's got a gift in front of his gift. So, and that was a dollar. I don't know, my husband loves that show, but I, I don't think it's going for that much, really. This one we picked up today, it's a little Thai uh, Irish bear, and this was 99 cents, and I'm probably going to put this in my Amazon box. Normally, I like things to be, you know, $7.99 or more for going into Amazon just so that there's a better return. But somebody mentioned to me about using them kind of like as void fill that you make a buck on. I'm like, yeah, okay, you know. So I might do that. I think it's only going for six or so dollars on Amazon. But I might try that out just to void fill. I don't know. That might be really bad advice. It might be really good advice. We'll find out. I picked this up yesterday as well. It is a Super Mario Brothers hat. And it glows in the dark. These... It's that greeny yellow color, you know? Glow in the dark, Super Mario. It's in really nice shape. I think it's a youth size, but then again, you know me and my giant head, so it could be a grown-up size. What do you think? Who knows? Who knows? And I got it at Goodwill, and I honestly I can't remember how much I got it for. How much are hats at Goodwill? You know. You know. A couple bucks, that's what I think. Then I also got yesterday... I started periscoping while I was in line to pick up my kids. And here, if you, you can you know be on the phone, but you cannot in a school zone. So the line started moving and I was rolling into the school zone, so I had to hang up. But I picked up these signs. This is 24 hour record service. I know it's got a few little scratches on it. Then there's auto laundry. And then this one is ship by truck. And finally, Go buy a bus. And these were $3 a piece. And they are the brand, the Land of Nod, which is usually a really nice brand. I know they're expensive to buy straight from their site. So I think I'm gonna lot these up. And I was talking to Tanya, I'm gonna put them probably somewhere between 60 and $75 for the lot of them. I think I saw one lot up there for not, I think maybe $40, but I think they're cool and they could go for more. We'll see. And this one I may keep. Look at it. Isn't it fun? Trick or treat. It's a wooden sign. It was $3. It may have been on sale. I think orange or yellow was on sale. I can't remember. But I just liked it. I had that vintage trick or treat look. So that may be staying at home with me. And then today I picked up this keepsake ornament of Captain America. It was $5, but I think it was, I was when I scanned it, it was going for like $50 or something crazy on uh, Amazon. So, you know, I checked him out. He looks really, really good. And I, need, I just need to make sure that there's not supposed to be something else that goes with him. Um, but I could sell him, you know, like used like new or whatever. And still, he's going to do well, I think. Crossing fingers. Picked up a couple pair of glasses. And I have sold some, so you'll find out Monday. Um, these ones are a Nike brand, and I have no idea what they're going to do. These are not vintage but I just thought they're a nice brand and they have that flexible. So those will be good. And then these are um, Romco, which is another pair. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if I can make a Cyclops. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to edit this, but I'm having fun with this, so. Hey guys! Hey everybody! How you doing today? It's Margaret! <laughs> Come on! That's my <laughs> How big can I make my teeth? Can I do it? I can't even see. I can't see. I can't see. Hey! I'm going to have to so edit this. I'm going to see if I can make myself into a cyclops. I don't think I can. This is pretty funny, though. I have no nose, though. <laughs> All right, that's going to have to be edited, but whatever. So those were a dollar a pair at my local thrift store. Um, I picked up this Simon game, and I'm gonna, I'll have to check it out, but... My son has the Skechers that has like the Simon Says on his Skechers that he loves. Um, and now the green one is not working on the Skechers. So I picked this up. I don't know what it's going for. So maybe I should look it up before I say I'm going to give it to my kid. And I pushed the button when I was there and it was working. But I'm not going to push the button here because it'll start making noise. And then we'll have to wait. And I don't want to wait. I'm saving a couple things for the end. <clears throat> I picked up this game. I had this game when I was teaching kindergarten. Oh my gosh, are you okay? You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. I'll get you an ice pack. You'll be fine. Okay. But this is like, I had the, um, no, no, you're okay. Don't do this again. It's, okay. Um, I had the monkey one. So there's a monkey one and the monkey one has little bananas, but this is the dog and this is to help their pincher grip. Pinch, pinch, you know, to help. They have to pick up the little bones and feed the dog. And some teachers used it like as a um, reward system, like, okay, kids, every time you are, you know, behaving yourselves in class or whatever, we're going to feed the dog a bone. And then once we get 10 bones, then we'll have some kind of reward or something like that. So I just have to like dust them off a little bit. And this is Lakeshore is the brand. Lakeshore is a teacher supply store. And their stuff is crazy expensive. If you're a teacher, you know. There goes a bone. There goes the bone. So. That was 99 cents, which is a steal. Uh, and that one, I'll see about putting up online. I didn't check the price, but worst comes to worst, I'll sell it on my local garage sale site. Because there are teachers on there. These I picked up. They say McDonald's on them. I'm loving it. But they also are Houston Dynamo. And then they're not like socks. They're like leg warmers. They're like little leg warmers. They don't, are wrist arm warmers? What do you think? I, I took a chance on them. I think they were a dollar. And then this was doing really well on Amazon. This one's new and sealed. Got it for $2. And I, I want to say it was going for $79.99. And the rank was in the $100, $150,000 or something like that. So that's going to go to Amazon. And then, okay, two last things. Two last things. One, I on my local garage sale site, there's a lady who sells, you know, she's trying to clear out her kids' Legos. Let me see if you can see in there. And I think one, one, one other time I showed you Legos that I got from her on a ride-along. Ride but here you can see it's a bag full of figs. And they have hats and they have weapons. And they're all like just decked out. Indiana Jones is in there. I see Django Fett. Um, there's some, you know, droids from Clone. I mean, there's just all different ones in there. Okay. You get the picture. So this was $7 for this lot. I just have to decide how I'm going to go about selling them. Just if I'm going to put them all out and then sell them. Or, you know, normally I let the kids pick out some. But Randy didn't want me to let them pick out any. And then there's one dude in here. I couldn't find him. I'm looking him up. I'm looking him up. I've got to find this guy. Look. Look at his head. Look at him. I couldn't find him. I searched green, alien head, Lego, minifig. What is he? If you know, look at him. I have no idea what he's from. Not a bit. So, okay, here we go. I see this fella. Do you know what he is? He is, let me show you the back of his neck. You can read it. American Girl. And they have the twins, like the American Girl, they're called like itty bitty twins or something like that. And there's usually two of them. So the guy comes out with a cart, you know, and he's got the bins. And I'm like, oh, looking through the bins, like, oh, please let there be the other one. Because then I thought, well, maybe the mom, like, 
the little girl just wanted the little girl one and they just really want the little boy one. So they donated the little boy one. And so then I asked the guy, hey, have you seen another little baby like this? And But a little girl one. Have you seen a little girl baby like, that looks kind of like this? The guy's like, nope, nope. So continue shopping, 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 shopping. And then we, Tanya and I are getting to the checkout and I see some Argyle on a little dress. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think it's her. And it is. There she is. So there they are, the twins. So these ones, I paid $3 a piece and I was looking online and they, I didn't see this set. I saw just him naked without any clothes selling for $50. Sold. I saw two sold, $44.99. $49.99, but I didn't see any with the, the pair of them. There was an Asian pair that went for $99.99. Look at her hair. Girl, we're going to do something about that hair or not. I don't know. So, yay, right? I mean, I'll just list them and say they need a little TLC, but I, I have no doubt that they're going to sell and do well. So that's exciting. That is exciting. Yay. Be on the lookout for those little baby American girl dolls. So that is my haul. I actually have more, but uh, it's clothes stuff. So we went back to the thrift outlet, which um, you buy by um, th every Thursday. Everything is $2 in there. And then it goes down each, each time, each day of the week. So I found a couple of Icelandic sweaters they were from Iceland and they were really thick and wooly and so those ones I think are going to do well and then I started thinking oh my gosh cashmere I found so much cashmere in there you guys so I am planning on going through taking out the ones that look nice they're in a nice shape there's no holes or stains or anything to sell and then the ones that have holes in them you can still pick up and then sell them as a lot for crafters and I was looking at some of those lots and they, they do pretty well. So I just have to decide, am I going to sell them by color or by the pound or how I'm going to go about it? Because, um, yay, I think I can make some good money. But I went over my budget there. I was, you know, we went in, Tanya and I said, let's, let's try to stick to $30, which is 15 items. I went double that or more. I think I spent $60 there. So I have big bags of clothes. Anyway, so that's my haul. Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some eBay, some Etsy, some Amazon. The lighting just got weird. I think we're going to get rain, and I'm just talking about whatever. Okay, I got to run because I have to pick my kids up from school. But I will see you later. And if you watched earlier, I made um, part one of the Etsy Teams video series, and there are going to be two more. I started it, and then we had to hit the road. So they will come soon. All right, that's it. So making sure, making sure I'm stalling again. Because you know what happens when the kids get home. <laughs> it's all over. And then it's bedtime. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going now. I'll talk to you later, you guys. Make sure to go out and enjoy yourselves. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.